Riley, thanks for watching us tonight. Will General Electric get paid for supporting President Obama? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. As everybody knows, GE, which owns NBC, has been very aggressive in helping Barack Obama, first supporting the president in the election and now attacking his critics. There's also emerging evidence that GE CEO Jeffrey Immelt and NBC News Chief Jeff Zucker told CNBC personnel to stop criticizing Obama's economic policies. Now, that would be a major breach of journalistic ethics. In fact, Obama critic Rick Santelli is reported to have said he was sent to a, quote, re-education camp by NBC. In addition, the hateful MSNBC network continues to air vicious attacks every day like this one on the Tea Parties. This is about hating a black man in the White House. This is racism straight up. That is nothing but a bunch of tea-banging rednecks. And, they, and, they, and there is no way around that. Well, this week, Jeff Immelt met with GE stockholders in Florida, and there was near revolt. That's no surprise, as also this week, Forbes magazine labeled Immelt one of the worst performing CEOs in the country. Factor producer Jesse Waters was at the Florida meeting. Last week on MSNBC, Janine Garofalo said that Americans who attended tea parties and were protesting high taxes and government spending were racist rednecks. She was not challenged by the anger on MSNBC. Are you okay with that? And do you consider that a form of hate speech, sir? Again, we have not. Since we were MSNBC, uh, again, I, my own personal beliefs aside, I believe that uh, MSNBC uh, has some standards that they follow, and, and that's uh, what you have said. This is the kind of hate that MSNBC traffics in on a regular basis. Are you comfortable with this, and do you think that this hurts the chief of brand? Again, we are in the network business. We are, we are uh, in the MSNBC business. We compete with Fox News and CNN and others. And again, I don't censor what they do or what they say, despite the fact that I might disagree with some of it, or, or much of it, some of the time. So do you consider yes, that? And then GE turned off the mic. Now, most CEOs would have stopped NBC's corruption a long time ago, but ML may be looking for a major payoff. According to reporting by the Washington Examiner, GE is heavily lobbying the Obama administration for bailout money. The company is also pushing for the proposed cap and trade program. Apparently, GE has set up a joint venture it hopes would manage billions of dollars in cap and trade transactions should that corporate carbon tax pass Congress. Now think about this, ladies and gentlemen. A failing corporation, General Electric, might reap billions of dollars if the feds okay the carbon deal. By the way, GE is already getting taxpayer bailout money for its financial unit. So it's not a stretch to assume ML would want to help President Obama as much as possible. Now, we've asked Mr. Imeld a number of times to appear here on The Factor, but he will not, and that's why we sent Jesse down to see him. This is obviously a major story when a powerful corporation, which controls a major part of the American media, may be using its power and the airwaves to influence politics in order to make money from government contracts. That kind of corruption would make Watergate look small. We hope it is not true. That is the Talking Points memo. Now for the top story reaction to this and the ongoing harsh interrogation debate, let's bring in Fox News analyst Laura Ingram from Washington. And Ms. Ingram once worked over at MSNBC. So what say you? Well, Bill, look, uh, I'm thinking about this story, and I think about how the left during the Iraq war turned itself inside and out about Halliburton. Remember, Halliburton was practically the bumper sticker of the campaign. Halliburton must be corrupt, the ties to Dick Cheney, big oil, all the rest. Well, if this story is true, and it seems like by all indications it is, we have a situation where GE is set to make uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, perhaps maybe billions of dollars, off of the stimulus uh, money that it's going to get, off of uh, this cap and trade bill if it uh, ends up uh, getting through. And I think uh, at MSNBC they should almost have to run a disclaimer 
Uh, when they report on these stories, I think the viewers should know that GE, the parent company of MSNBC and NBC News, uh, it sets, uh, is, is set to benefit uh, handsomely uh, from this program going through. And, and as far as I know, uh, those kinds of disclaimers are not in place now at NBC. So I'd like all these high-minded uh, journalism professors at Columbia uh, Journalism School, and all, they're always trotted out to criticize conservatives. I hope we hear from them in this regard. I think what, what Jesse did in going down there and challenging ML is uh, what he did was a service to the people. And I, I'm a shareholder of GE. I, my pension plan, part of my 401k, is, uh, is GE stock. Uh, I'm glad he asked that question and other shareholders as well. They shouldn't have cut the mic. Well, you've lost uh, about 75% of the value of whatever yeah. GE stock you've had under email. But, but here's, here's the thing that disturbs me. You, uh, you clerk for the Supreme Court, Clarence Thomas. Yes. This is an abuse of power if it's true. And as, again, the evidence is almost overwhelming that we've never well, seen before here in America by using yeah. <laughs> by using NBC News to actually promote a presidential candidate which they did there's no doubt and then attack critics of the president after he was elected in order to make money from government contracts I mean it's staggering Bill, yeah, Bill, this is exactly what you know, conservatives have been warning about now for many years, which is when the federal government grows and grows and grows and grows, you ultimately are not going to be able to control it, right? Because basically there are going to be a number of elite interests that collide together and that work together. And the one problem with that is, you know, we the people get left out of that equation. And then there's not really a lot the regular person can do to stop it. That's the problem with big government. We're seeing it right now. And then you throw in a corrupt media that, 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 that is set to profit handsomely from this. And, uh, you know, all hell breaks loose. And, and again, I, this is where the GE shareholders and some creative, perhaps, uh, plaintiff attorney uh, could, could, you know, put their feet down and well, actually try also, to get some for, for, for relief from the There's share, also the now a risk for Barack Obama. Because if Barack Obama awards General Electric government contracts of any kind going forward, it's going to look bad. Yeah, well, is that change we can believe in? I, I mean, at, at MSNBC, when I started working there, July 15, 1996, Bill, the launch of the network, I was, I was on air for the first three hours uh, with other contributors and people uh, of the network. Okay, at, at the time, they wanted to be like a hip, cool, kind of high-tech network, and they didn't really seem to have a political agenda. They had people of all, uh, you know, beliefs on and so forth. But uh, over the years, it, they, they just decided they were going to go hard left, counter-program to Fox, and and. and if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. But don't pretend that you're doing some big service, journalistic service for the people. You're not, okay? You're propping up yourselves, and you want to, you want to make money off uh, government contracts. You better disclose that to the American people. They have not disclosed that. Well, it's an outrage. It's out there now, Laura, and we appreciate you being the first guest to comment on it. Next on The Rundown.